In this video, we will look at how to generate diagonal patterns on a grid in Mobius. A common requirement is creating diagrid patterns. A diagrid requires two sets of diagonal lines to be generated. For each set of lines, we will use the three-step process, add padding, zip, and cull. The three-step process can be implemented as a set of user-defined functions. In this case, we have defined four functions. The first function is for adding the padding to the list. The second function for zipping and culling the lists. The third function for generating polylines. And the fourth function generates diagonals by calling the other three functions. A 9 by 9 grid has been generated. From the printing, we can see how the lists are padded, and the zipped and culled. Note that the pad size parameter controls the angle of the line. A higher pad size means a smaller angle. Note that polylines are only generated through every fourth list. The local dot diagonals function has three other parameters. The rev parameter reverses the angle. The other two parameters are similar to the start and step parameters of the range function. They control which lists are selected for generating polylines. The offset parameter defines the start of the range. The step parameter defines the step size of the range. Here, we can see examples of a step size of 1, 2 and 3. In order to create a diagrid pattern, the local dot diagonals function can be called two times, once for each direction of lines. Notice how in the code, the first time the function is called, the rev parameter is set to false. The second time, it is set to true. In this example, the grid is no longer planar. The rows of positions now define arcs. The list of positions has the same structure. It is still a list of rows of positions. As a result, the diagonals can be generated in exactly the same way as before.